Hello my friends, it's Simon. Today, I want to show you a quick and powerful new way to set up and generate automatic default tasks for your regular projects in Notion. That means in about 10 minutes, you'll be able to say goodbye to repeating all that manual labor of adding tasks to the projects you regularly do and stay organized with simple automated actions. How is this possible, you may be asking? Notion just massively improved their databases with Notion automations, essentially a native if this then that automation feature in Notion. This means one action in a database can be set to trigger another in the same or other databases. It is first worth saying, however, you can only create and edit automations in Notion if you have one of the paid plans. But don't worry, if you have a free Notion account, you will be able to use and delete automations that you may have downloaded in a template. So if you wanna try these out on your free account, watch this video for how they work. And I've added some automation examples to my free Notion Task Manager a template that you can download via the link in the description for free. It's linked below and if you like the look of all of this definitely also jump over to bettercreating.com and check out my larger complete life OS second brain notion templates where you can join a growing notion life OS community getting their life organized with the template. Let's get started with this step-by-step -step Notion tutorial using a demo of a repeat project that I'm always doing in Notion, creating videos and social media content. So first I wanna give you a quick demo of these default tasks in my Essential Task Manager template. Now you'll see essentially this template is pretty cool actually. It's a task database with a load of views of the tasks in various ways that you want, including a assign to me view and then we have a project list which is project overviews you can see to-do lists by project you can see project tasks by status and then by deadline and urgency which is pretty cool and then finally you've got your deadlines view down here for specific things with deadlines set and in fact I've even got a menu where you can jump to a projects dashboard with a weekly review system that you can use and all the projects on there. And you could use this to build out a wider template if you wanted to, so make sure you check it out. And there's instructions on how to use all of this via video links within the template. So if I go back to the home page, you'll see guides and more. There's a couple of videos that can show you how my task systems work. But let me show you the automations. So Notion automations are under this now. If you see this little bolt, you can click on that and you can set up new automations. So if I click new automation, I essentially can do if this then that. So you can name the automation, you can select the pages by a whole database or just by a view, which is pretty cool. I can add a trigger, essentially either if um, one of these is edited or if a page is added to the database, for example, page added and then I can add an action which would be either to add pages to this or another database, edit pages in this or another database, send Slack notifications to a channel which is really cool or it would edit other database pages in the same database. This edit pages in you've got to be a little bit careful about but make sure you check out my other video that you should be able to find on the channel shortly around all these automations uh, which will help you. So that's where the automations happen. This is the default task automation I've created. So if we take a little look, generate default tasks. So I click onto here, you'll see that when a page is added, it adds new tasks and auto populates the various columns of that task, including linking it back to the project. I'm gonna show you how it works in just a moment, but first of all, let me show you what happens if we create a new project. So I'm going to click on my new project button as an example, it's going to create it and you'll see already within that project there are three tasks that have been automatically created and linked back to it and I can essentially do those so for example I want to name it first off so let's call this one that could be my project and I'm going to set the aims so I might call like that yeah and it can all go in there and then I can drop that into done or another way might be to look at all related tasks and check it as done and set up the initial project task. So that's just an example of how this might work, right? So that's pretty cool. Let me show you how you make it. So we're going to create a new automation in the projects database. And if you're interested to know the way that this system works is essentially you have a task database and then you have a project database that is linked as a relational column. So this is where you can link it to other 
projects, right? Simple as that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the automation button and we're gonna add a new automation. So we're gonna call this one, create default tasks for all new projects. Now what's interesting about this is you can do it by view. So what I could do is set up a view that's just for video projects, just, just for personal life projects, and you could set for each of those views when you create a new project, you would then be able to set specific default tasks for those. So that would be a workaround at the moment to be able to filter them by particular types. But we're just gonna do this for all projects as an example. We're gonna add the trigger and that is when a page is added to the database. And then, so when it does this, I want to add an action and I want to add a page to, but now I want to pick a different database, which is the task database. So when a project is added to this database, I wanna add another one to the tasks. I'm gonna use my template, because it's nice to link it to the template. And we're gonna edit a property and we're gonna call it set aims and project timeline, for example. I'm gonna add, edit another property in here and we can set different things. So for example, I might wanna set the due date for when you're setting aims. It's probably when you create it. So I'm gonna actually set the due date as this dynamic date. I can pick a date, but I'm actually gonna go today because that will always be the day that you've created. And I'm gonna add another property. Probably the most important bit here is that you set the project. So when I select project, I want to link it to this page. Now that means that whatever page is created, it will have the tasks linked to it. Really important that you use that. Great, now you could add status, but my new task template already sets the status, so I don't need to do that. And I'm going to create it. There we go. So let's test it. Now it's really important to note that I have a project template. So if we just open that and edit that quickly so you can see what it is, the project template already has a view of tasks within it filtered by the project template page. So it means that it will show you everything it needs to show you. So let's close this back down and let's create a new project. It will generate the project and you should see in my reports, there you go, it's updated and added that initial task. Let's just name this one. And there it is. Now, if you wanted to add more, you can just go in and edit this as far as you like and add further tasks. You can add another page to the task database and it will just drop it in below. I can set the template and I can edit a property, name the task. So you're gonna have to work through and do this. So for example, set, I don't know why you would do it like this, but maybe you want to. I'm gonna set the due date to today and I'm gonna edit another property, which would be, most importantly, set the project to this page. There you go. And you'll now see if we generate another project, this time we should see two turn up in the list. That's how it works, pretty cool. When I delete projects, sometimes it leaves tasks in there. So for example, if I delete this project, I'm still actually gonna see the aims that were set for that there. It doesn't have a project, right? Now I hope one day Notion will add when a, something is deleted, that anything related to it could be deleted as well. That would be really useful for me when I'm clearing projects. But yeah, some pretty cool things. The other thing it would be really nice to see with these automations is that you could, on here, duplicate this. I think Thomas Frank mentioned this on his video, but if they can, Notion can soon add a duplicate action, it would be a lot quicker to do it. Now there is a workaround, as I say, for different types of default automations. So this would be one. I'm just gonna duplicate this view and I'm gonna call this content projects. Now you'll see in here under properties, I've just created a project type or area. It might be by areas of your life, for example. I'm gonna show that, it's down there, right? Just so you can see what we're talking about. Right, let's move that up to the top. And that means that I can filter by it. So I'm gonna filter, add a filter where content type, let's turn that into a advanced filter, is content projects. I'm gonna save that for everyone. So we now have a content project view and in fact, I'm just gonna hide the property because we don't need to look at it. So that will only show me things for content projects. So if we now go into automations and create a new automation, but do it for this current view, content projects, add the trigger as add a page there, 
It now means if we do the same thing again, adding to a task database, setting it as a new task, I could even set that as a new content project task if I wanted to have a different template for the task. We link it to the project, most importantly, which is this page. We can do the same thing again and name the tasks. And this one might be research video. And I can assign that to myself. I'm gonna add another one. And I can add multiple entries and even assign them to different people, for example, to my editor. In fact, they can speed through this while I do a couple more. So I've now got an add default task to content projects set up when a page is added within the content projects and it adds different things in there for that task list. So for example, if I create that automation and then I'm just within the content project setup, I add a new one, we should now see those automations both run. So I've got the set the aims for the project, set the weekly reminder, but we've also then got research video, film video, edit video, and publish video. Really cool. Now what I think is really helpful with this is if we sort by date created ascending, and then we know that they will be in the right order. If I remove that, they kind of are not in the right order. So I've added a sort in here, which is add to the sort where date created is ascending, and it all works beautifully. And what's really cool, if I now add the assignees, you can also see that I can set those up pre-formatted to my editor as well. Really cool. And then they just get checked off as they go. I'm gonna call that one. So really good, if you create regular content, you can set all this up so it does it automatically. And we have these lovely lists that will just be there and ready to go, really cool. And then you'll obviously see it all drops in. So that's two options for that, but there's more. Now then, I thought you'd want to see a little bonus as an automation that can trigger further actions based on status changes to tasks, such as auto-tagging team members, reassigning task owners, and even sending notifications to Slack. But before I show you that, just a little reminder to download my completely free Notion Task Manager template with this automation set up in it. If you'd like to check that out, it's in the link in the description. And also you may wanna check out my complete Notion Life OS template as well. It's available now to download at bettercreating.com and it is a complete productivity system in Notion. So if you haven't heard about it, after three years of tweaking, learning and simplifying, this template is the ultimate second brain solution I've dreamed of building and you can download it with complete confidence due to a 30 days money back policy. But I really think you'll love them because not least, they are also supported by playlist guide videos, a user community support discord where you can get further help and talk to other users and I'm planning more community only resources for you soon, so this really is a great bet. But if you are new or newer to Notion and perhaps would prefer a more simplified setup, you should also check out my simplified Notion LifeOS template too, perfect for those who want those essential powerful functions but could feel overwhelmed by too many of them. Here's how to trigger further actions based on status changes. So for example, what we might do here is in projects, I've set up a really simple one, which is this one down here, archive projects when status is marked complete. So we're going to set a new automation and this one is going to be archive project when status is set to complete. We're gonna add a trigger in the project and essentially we're gonna go now to when a property is edited. So when status is set to complete, click done, I want the action to be archive becomes checked. Now this is just an example. You don't necessarily need to do this. You could just set your filters by when status is set, but it's a really good example of what we can do. So if we click create on that, and if we go into my Notion automation video demo, let's just open this up so you can see archive. I'm gonna select that this is done, and in a moment you should see this turn to completed. There it goes. Now what that means is, it's disappeared and it has been archived. And in this system, if I go into my project dashboard, I then have a, down here, an archive and completed view, and you can see everything is completed. So let's take another example of this in the task database. To do that, I'm gonna go into my Notion video task list that we've got here, and we've got all of these task lists. Now, what I might do is add a new status into this setup. So let's just have a little look here. In here, we can edit the status property, and into in progress, I'm gonna put, drop that down, 
I'm gonna give it a slightly different flavor. There we go. I just wanna show another property, which is assignee. Now what we can see is I have my various tasks. So let's say research video is done, film video is done, editing video was in progress because my editor was editing it, but then she completes that and wants me to see it. So she can put it to, into review, but currently it stays in her name. So what I'm gonna do with this is the following. We're gonna set an automation to update the assignee. In this, we wanna click into the automations, create a new automation, it's this time in tasks, and this is update assignee status in review. Add a trigger, and I'm gonna do when status is put in review, add an action. I want to edit the property of assignee to become me. Now we should see, if we close that, in progress here, assignee is Sarah. If I then click this and go to in review, wait for a moment and it updates to me. Okay, my friends, if you like this, I have a wider video on more great Notion automation use cases that you can watch here, including time tracking and habit tracking hacks. And don't forget to check out my in-depth tour of the complete Notion Life OS template here. It would be awesome if you subscribed, amazing if you left a like, and I'd better get back to creating. See ya.